Captain Mike here, uh, uh, back to our maintenance of the rudder. So we've carefully sanded the uh, rudder, as you can see. And, uh, well, as you can almost see here. So the bottom part here is uh, been sanded uh, right about down to its surface. Um, there's uh, very little of the anti-fouling paint left. We're going to be painting the bottom of BRB black this year. Um, so uh, tomorrow, uh, we're going to be working down below, and we'll be applying the uh, anti-fouling bottom paint to the bottom of the rudder. What we've done today is we've done two coats of uh, base coat, uh, I'm sorry, base coat, clear coat to the uh, top part of the rudder, and that's what's over the water line. So as you can see, it's got a very good gloss to it, very uh, professional looking, and this dries even better looking than it is uh, uh, after it's dust free, it looks 10 times better. Dust free meaning that's the time that you can actually uh, uh, put your fingers on it or dust can hit it and not stick. So this uh, part of the painting process, uh, it's very important that there be little or no dust I often uh, wet the floor before I do any painting, um, and as you can see, that looks pretty darn good, and tomorrow it'll look even better, uh, and uh, we will mask, uh, we'll mask uh, right at the water line on the white side uh, tomorrow, and we'll, uh, that's actually rolled on the anti-fouling paint, or in this case, I'll brush it on uh, so as not to waste, because uh, uh, it's very expensive. So we're going to go with a black anti-fouling this year. Um, and uh, there's not much on a sailboat that's actually under the waterline, uh, unlike a powerboat where there's a lot more displacement and a lot more uh, uh, painting surface for the bottom paint uh, in most cases. A sailboat, very little, uh, you know, the keel, uh, and uh, very little of the boat in most cases on a sailboat is... Uh, uh, beneath the water line, so it makes for an easy job, um, and it also makes for uh, extra time that you could spend better preparing, because my experience has been with most people painting their boat, they just do the minimal and just roll it on so it looks good, but unfortunately it's not really doing what it's supposed to do. If you don't prepare the surface properly, uh, by sanding it down properly, uh, um, then, you know, you're really wasting your money buying bottom paint. You may as well just buy any old paint, you know. <laughs> so uh, it's worth uh, the prep time. Uh, and uh, this is coming out really good. Uh, fortunately, like I shared in an earlier video, uh, we were aground uh, and didn't do any damage to the bottom. So that's a plus, uh, uh, either to the rudder or the keel that I've already inspected. So uh, things are coming along, looking good. This is a uh, project that probably took about uh, total time, about two and a half hours. Um, and it uh, looks pretty good. I'm happy with it. All right, Captain Mike signing off, and uh, we hope to uh, be sharing another maintenance video pretty soon. Bye-bye.